Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on September the 2nd, 2016. The title of the message is The Two Paths, Part 2. And the Lord Jesus began, I am your light, though darkness descends upon your land, yet it cannot extinguish me. Try as he may, Satan cannot erase me from this world. When you are in deep darkness, in despair, discouragement, disorder, disease, come, my light will dispel all darkness from your soul. Come receive my comfort, for only the wicked desire to remain in darkness. I offer you my hand of comfort. All that is good is found only in me. My children, take heart. Remember, every good thing comes from me. What is it that you desire, my beloved? I am here. I am your source. Ask me. I will grant it to you. All that is good is with and in me, and I will gladly open my hands and my heart and bless you with it. I am your provider, your protector, the very source of your life. Rest in me. Walk with me. Talk to me. I am always near you, ready to surround you with my comfort. Do not be discouraged if things do not seem to go your way. Your life is in my hands. As long as you are walking in obedience to my will, you are following my plan for you. Rejoice, even if hardships come your way. They serve a purpose. Otherwise, I would not allow them in your life. Your steps are ordered of me. Your days are numbered by me. Your way is planned by me. Everyone has a particular path that they must follow in me. If you allow me, I will lead you down this path. Do not be afraid. However rocky, uncomfortable and tedious the path, I am leading you through it and I will lead you out of it into a place of deep rest. You must trust me, my child. I know the right path for your life, and however far-fetched my word to you may sound, it will always lead you to where I want you to go. No one's life is wasted if you place it in my hands. The world may waste their lives in corrupt living, but my children's lives are planned out to lead you to me and to fulfill my will for you, to bring you peace and joy to your soul. Trust me, no matter what you see, hear, or go through, I am God. My plans for you are not evil, but good. I see what is ahead of you, and I lead you down a path that will bring you to me bearing much fruit. As for the wicked, their steps are directed by their father Satan. That is why whatever they do produces more wickedness. They have decided to submit to Satan's will, and he will lead them to destruction. He has nothing good in him, therefore he cannot produce good fruit. All his plans, and I mean every one of his plans, are wicked, full of evil poison. His fruit bears his mark, full of corruption, decay, and death. Look at the evidence. Look at the wicked. What do they produce? Evil, wickedness, misery, debauchery, abominations, corruption, disease. The list of evil goes on. There is nothing good that is produced, just a soul-eating cancerous evil that infiltrates every area of their lives. They do not know joy, peace, or love. They do not bear the fruit of the Spirit because they do not have my Holy Spirit in them. No, they bear the fruit of Satan, absolute wickedness. I beseech you, O wicked ones, abandon your wicked ways. Are you not tired of it eating up your soul, consuming any good that is in you? Are you not tired of always feeling filthy? Come to me. I will cleanse you as one is cleansed under a waterfall. Come, let me show you a different path, the path of righteousness, and let your soul for once prosper in my goodness. I am waiting for you. Come, I love you now and always. Jesus. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.